Toronto runs deep and they hope they run into the final on Sunday. And we have puck drop here in the decisive game three. Connecticut in the green, Toronto in the black. Alongside Erica Ayala, I'm Joe Malfa. Delighted to be with you this evening for what should be some terrific hockey if games one and two are any indication. So we've seen Reyes work with this line before, but Samuskevich has made an impact in this semifinal series, so I like that she's with Reyes there. Big stop by Ives as the puck flashed out in front of the net. You get some more nerves maybe out there in game three with so much on the line, both teams facing that elimination. Yeah, it's an interesting question. Shot from the slot, it's loose in front, the rebound is put wide by Kava. Eastwood. It along to Lum. Leah Lum, long outlet pass, cross ice. In front of Tabin, backhand save by Ives. Wrap around in front, it goes in for the second time in this series. Kava scores from below the goal line. Just a great play there by Tabin to get something up on Abby Ives, who makes the initial save, but was brought out of her crease. We see Toronto wrapping around the goal line, underneath the goal line, and just Abby Ives, and that was Bates looking to help out, could not get back in time to cover up on that far post. It is her. Lum, back for Dark Angelo. Cheyenne Dark Angelo shoots it, saved by Ives. She's still without a goal in this series, the captain, but has to assist. Cross pollinations from college, trickle <laughs> Indeed. over into the PHF. Here's Lonergan. Katrin Lonergan has a goal this series, finds Marchman in front, saved by Truly. Anna Conway makes her way into the lineup for this game. Conway still battling in front, swept out of the circle, and it's saved by Truly. Gerard had just come off the bench with the shot. They trailed at every point of the first game. They had a couple of ties in the second game and went to overtime and won it. Have never led. Can make it a two-goal lead here. Ives denies with the left pad. Lashkova still jamming it in front. And finally, the whistle blows. Tempers flaring. I think they're going to have to start moving the puck so that they can open things up there in the slot and a little bit lower below the dots. Deflected in front. They score. No, it's off the post. Looked like it came in off the white and came back out. Wow. 0 to a 1. We take a look at this second line here, and that's just a quick shot in, and it's deflected to your point. Elaine Chuli going back, going forth, and we see, oh, it strikes right there. How does that not cross? Chuli had to be careful to. Michaela Kava has the lone goal, has help in the middle, sends it that way. It's two for Toronto. Leah Love lights the lamp for the first time this series. You talked about Lum. We also thought that it was only a matter of time before the full cast of characters would get on the board. And Leah Lum and Dark Angelo comes on the back check, wins this back, gets it to Kava. Kava finds Lum. She's not going to miss going top shelf on Abby Ives. And again, Dark Angelo not officially going to get Connecticut just clinging on, able to get it over the finish line and steal game one. Here's Gerard. They could change that in a hurry. Truly makes a save. A snow shower in the end as well from Keenan and Marchman. Gerard finds Marchman. Those two have been terrific this series. Now Lonergan, her shot blocked by a sliding tinker, putting the body on the line. We've come to know her for doing just that. Errol Watts doing some work defensively. Out to the circle, shouldered off by Chuli. Circle back to that play from Tabin because if she did not have that strong stick to keep it now in front, saved by Ives, rebound, and she covers. But had Tabin not made that play, it was going to be a two-on-one between Gerard and Marchman. This fourth line for Gardner. Courtney Gardner out there with Lexi Templeman, Brooke Bolquist for Toronto. Here's Wolfiler denied by Chuli. And an extra little nudge at the end there from Tabin to Wolfiler. Chasing this two goal deficit. Here's Daryl Watts in the slot. Watts has her shot blocked. Rebound saved by Ives. Minnesota won in the same season that they entered the league. Wilson Bennett takes it wide, puts it in front. 
Shot deflected up and over the bar off the stick of Abby Leshkova brings it down. Marchman two minutes for cross-checking. First penalty in the game for either team. Slap shot on the power play. They score! Toronto might have just put this one to bed. It's Katie Tabin with her first goal of the series. Tabin. Howard dances this up. Tabin cranks it. Bodies in front. Not sure that Abby Ives even. Lonergan out there with Marchman. In front, the shot is blocked. It was Monroe in the 48 shot scene for Levier to help the Whitecaps get to their uh, to the Isabel Cup final, their second in franchise history. Put out in front, another save by Chuli, and she covers again. If we would have waited a heartbeat longer, we might have <laughs> had that as the save of the game against perhaps a very unlikely opponent in Minnesota. Had lost eight straight to end the regular season. In front here, Chuli swipes at it. Puck's still loose, she's trying to cover it up and finally does. Excuse me, but the second day, seven to one Toronto. That's the lasting impression in the minds between Toronto and Minnesota. One last terrific stop by Chuli with the glove. Clock is winding down to .6 seconds. It'll give her 32 saves on the day. And Elaine Chuli is gonna be all smiles after this one. She is goaltender of the year here in PHF. One last drop of the puck. And the Toronto Six will play on Sunday for an Isabel Cup. Geraldine Heaney celebrates with her coaching staff as the Toronto Six team huddles ar around Elaine Truly. If you were to give an MVP of this particular series, you're hard pressed to find another player that has done more for her team than Elaine Truly. You see.